Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, portraiture. Um, I'm going to go over uh, getting proportions for the face and uh, and and how to use uh, these Prismacolor pencils to create a uh, a, uh, a self portrait. All right, I've got my 12 favorite Prismacolor pencils, my Canson paper. I'm going to start with an oval, but faces are different. Look at who you're drawing. Uh, halfway along is the uh, where the eyes fall on. Below that is the bottom of the nose and the line between the lips. Um, it, the top of the head is one half the size of the whole head. Um, the bottom, all the interesting stuff is in the bottom, so it seems like it's bigger, but it's not. All right, uh, I'm going to um, start making some shadows on the upper lip, bottom of the nose. Um, the eyes are uh, have space of one eye in between them. The ears uh, fall roughly between the eyes and the bottom of the nose. The eyes are in shadow, so you draw those into a kind of a socket. Uh, hair mass uh, is bigger than the skull, generally. Outside of the face is negative space. These are the shapes around it. Here's your light source. Uh, light's going to hit the nose, uh, the hair, bottom lip, and uh, eyes, tops of the cheeks and stuff. I'm making, sh thinking about the light source and how it's going to throw shadows across the face and the neck. I'm using warmer colors um, because it's a warm light uh, where the light's hitting, but the other side I'm using cooler colors, blues and greens, in the shadow side. Um, blue, uh, flesh colors come, you know, you can use blues, greens, oranges, reds, browns, uh, all sorts of stuff to make a, a good uh, skin color. All right, with the nose, I'm starting with kind of a ball shape in the middle and, uh, and uh, see how the shadow gets cast. Uh, there's the lips. Uh, upper lip is shaded. There's light hitting the lower lip and above the upper lip. And again, using cool colors in the shadows. Um, the eye is a ball, it's shaded like a ball, uh, but it has these membranes over it, eyelids, and it's back in a cavity. The iris is like a flat plate. The pupil is a black hole looking into the eye. Uh, all sorts of colors in the eyes. Uh, remember, it's back in this cavity, so it's not all bright white. The, the whites are oftentimes grays. Uh, but you do want to find the highlights in there. Using cool colors in the shadows again, and warm colors where the more light hits. Uh, all right, uh, from the profile, um, uh, it's like an egg shape with a jaw stuck onto it. But it's the same um, kind of basic, uh, uh, basic lines to start with. A child's head, you see the top of the head is much bigger than the bottom part, the, the, where the face is like one-third of the whole head. All right, that was fun. This is just a little classroom demonstration. Um, basic things to remember, though. Uh, normal adult head, um, the line that the eyes fall on is half halfway down. Uh, beginners always make the mistake of making the top of the head too small. Um, actually in children it's quite a bit bigger. Like this one. Um, so one half here and then down here divide the bottom one in half and then you can go in thirds there from for the uh, line that the mouth falls on, shadow under the mouth. The ears fall uh, roughly along where the uh, bottom of the nose is. Uh, there's roughly a width of one eye in between the two eyes. Um, now remember, this is uh, just a template. No one is like this. Everyone is different. So you start with this and then you look for the differences when you're doing a portrait because those differences are what's going to give you the likeness. Um, to get proportions right, um, don't focus on the eyes, nose, and mouth very much. That sounds counterintuitive, but if you focus on the negative spaces, these are the spaces outside the things, you'll do a lot better. Um, for example, this shape here, see this big shape out here? If you draw this shape, that gives you the ears, the cheek, the neck, and the shoulders. All those things are in proportion. Now inside the face, those same kind of negative spaces, like there's one in here, that's a shape of uh, a cheek. If you can get that shape, it gives you the location of the 
eyes and the uh, and the nose. Same, there's one here too. Uh, that'll give you the, the location of the upper lips and the nose. And of course the forehead is a big shape. Um, if you draw the shape of the forehead that you see, that'll give you the shape of the hair. Usually the hair mass is a little bit bigger than the, uh, 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 than, you know, the, where the skull is. It goes over the top. Um, parts that are in, you know, if the light's coming down this way, the nose is going to cast a shadow over here. The, uh, there'll be a shadow under the chin. This side of the face will be a little bit darker. This side will be a little bit lighter. There's generally little highlights on the eyes where this light bounces off. But the eyes are in shadow. They're under the, the, uh, they're under the, uh, the eyebrows. They're in this kind of socket there. Feel your own eyes. You'll see what I mean. Um, so don't go making them bright white because they're sitting back in shadow. There might be a little bit of white on them where the highlight hits, but mostly they're going to be like light grays, middle grays, something like that. Um, the middle of the nose is sometimes kind of like a ball. Um, you can look at it that way and shade it as if it was darker on this side and had a highlight on that way, just like a ball. Uh, and uh, the uh, lower lips uh, are, uh, are usually much lighter than the upper lips. There's usually a shadow up there above the lips because, the, uh, because of the way the light hits them up there. And a uh, shadow under the chin and uh, um, just use your eyes, you know? Uh, drawing uh, is about seeing, and uh, seeing is actually really hard. You might think it's easy, but uh, if you can see something the way I'm talking about, if you can see something the way an artist sees it, you can draw it. You can draw it easily. The hard part is learning how to see it.